What's good, everyone? Ben Spicer here with DR7. We're joined by two athletes from the San Antonio Ducks 18U team, the Road to the Crown San Antonio champions. Guys, go ahead and introduce yourselves. Tell us where you go to school and what positions you play. Uh, my name is Jaden Haygood. I'm a junior. I go to Judson High School. Uh, I play middle linebacker and nickel, and I just, you know, I've been playing with the Ducks since – I was a little kid. I'm Diego Davila. I go to Smithson Valley High School. I'm a sophomore, class 2025. I play defensive back, and I've been playing with the Ducks since last year. All right, guys, we'll talk a little bit about your time uh, with the Ducks in the past because uh, you're, you're both, you know, a little different. Uh, we, we're joking that Jaden's a, a duck for life. Uh, <laughs> but let's look at your high school seasons first before we really get into the seven-on-seven seven thing. Uh, you guys yeah. both mentioned where you go to high school. So uh, just kind of to reflect back on your seasons, how did the season go? Uh, how did you do? And did you get any uh, accomplishments or anything like that uh, overall in the season? Uh, I'll let Diego go first. His school crushed it this year. Yeah, yeah uh, we went 12-2 and two, um, in the di District 5A. Oh, we were 5A District champs. Um, made it to the corner finals. And then last play of the game, had a heartbreaking, heartbreaking yeah. loss. Um, but we're back at it and working for next year. Um, this past year I had 15 tackles, five pass breakups, and then I was academic all district. Um, I got pulled up fifth game of the season from JV. So, I mean, it wasn't, it was just a little, a little bit of a bigger competition for me, but I feel like I did the best that I could have and just looking forward to next year. That's great. Uh, yeah, Justin, we didn't have the season we wanted to, but we still went six and six. We made it to the second round of the playoffs. We were, uh, uh, we didn't get district champs. We lost to still. We're 6A division 27, I believe. And yeah, still beat us this year, but we'll get, we'll get them back next year, definitely. But yeah, we lost in, we lost in the playoffs to Vandergriff. They went to state. I mean, they're just a great, great all around team. Great, great coaches and everything but uh this season was probably one of my like breakout seasons i had 130 tackles four sacks uh 13 tackle for losses and uh three pbus nice now you're set to become a senior next year Jaden, right yes sir so how's that kind of changed your approach you know your mindset in this off season leading up to your final you know, year knowing that it's your last time i'm shooting off on friday nights yes sir uh i mean like since I was a freshman, I didn't know it was going to come this fast, but it, it flew by. And I think by, by – I've been working, like, twice as much as some of my teammates do, and it's uh, putting in – we have a leadership council here at Justin that, uh, like, the top athlete – not the top athletes, uh, our team votes on the players to be in there. And so we talk every morning. I get a lift in in the morning, lift in, in the afternoon, and then one at night with my parents. And just coming into this senior year, I just want to – have a real big year, real great year. And uh, I want to first beat the tackle record here at Judson and just uh, I hope to have a great, healthy season. Now, Diego, a little different for you. You know, you mentioned getting the call up about midway through from JV to varsity. Uh, now, you know, expected to go in, be a junior, be a contributor for a team that went 12-2 and two last year, made a deep playoff run, like you said. But what do you guys need to do and, and maybe what do you need to do to help continue that success and build off of last year? Uh, I just think that we just need to, like, keep working together. This offseason, I mean, the start of the offseason, we we've had a great time. Uh, right now we're in a boot camp, which is, like, where the coaches testing our, like, camaraderie and just how, how we work together. Um, but I just think that I need to – I mean, we have some big shoes to fill. We lost a lot of great players, but – Next year, we're looking back to run it up again, go further in the playoffs, get 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 our first state championship uh, in school history. But just this off season, this summer, it's going to be a lot of work that's going to go that's going to be put into it. Do you guys play seven on seven with the San Antonio Ducks? That's where we've gotten the chance to see you with the R seven. A little different for both of you, Diego. I know you just joined last year, and Jaden, for you, you've been there since you were, I believe, you said eleven. Uh, so we'll start with you, Jaden. Maybe what's made you want to be a part of the organization over the years? Uh, what's made me want to be part of the Ducks is it's very family. When I joined there, they would help my family out because uh, you know it's not free to play football, especially out of 
out outside of it and they would just help them out when they needed to get uh to get it paid and they just been with me before I like blew up and got a scholarship so like just having that connection to another family is really really nice Diego, for you, what made you want to come out and, and join the Ducks organization? Uh, I mean, our quarterback, Rylan Walker, um, I was close with him last year, and he was just like, hey, man, if you just want to come out and try this, try the seven on seven. I had never heard of it, um, but I was like, shoot, let's try it. I went out, made the team, and just had fun with it. I, it's a great community. Um so it, it's just like everybody's everybody's friendly with each other. There's no no hate going into it. Everybody's just looking out for each other, and we're just looking to, looking to build better relationships. You guys won the championship in the 18U division at the Road to the Crown last weekend. What do you think was the biggest factor in in being able to make that championship round? All right, um, just I mean we went we went uh, two and one on Saturday in the pool play. Um, I think not letting that get to our head. Um, I mean, losing one game, it, it, I mean, we didn't, it didn't let us, uh, we didn't let it affect us. Um, and then that night on Saturday night, we all came to my house, had some chicken, had, we had a lot of food. We just ate together, prayed together. I mean, we had a little Madden tournament, just building our, our, uh, teamwork and all that. So I think that went into it. And then Sunday, just keeping like that goal in mind. Um, we kind of came into it with like under underdogs. Um, we're very like, we weren't up there in, in like the eyes that everybody, I mean, in everybody else's eyes, but uh, we stuck to it, kept doing our thing and just had fun. Yeah, what Diego said, we came the first day two and one. Uh, lost to a Lee House, which was a real club game. We were missing some. Uh, we were missing our safety. He was at UT, and then we were missing one of our receivers. He had a basketball game, and yeah, we went to Diego's house. We chilled as a, a family, and we ate, prayed together, uh, played Madden, and then that night, you know, we we all went to sleep at a reasonable time. Like uh, no one really stayed up because we were we wanted to get this first championship as an org, and so. Then we come here Sunday, and we uh, our second game, we, we were down by six with uh, two minutes left. And our offense came out there and scored, and we went into overtime, and our offense scored again. And then so our defense had to get stopped, and Diego made a play. And, I mean, it's players that can make plays, and that really uh, jumped us up in momentum, going uh, beating that great team in overtime. And we knocked off uh, PPG, which uh, them, uh, them and the Lee House were – first in everybody's thing on pool play from the day before. So coming in to beat them two teams and the championship and the quarterfinal is crazy. Now, obviously, in games like that, I mean, both teams are from the same city. You guys probably know them, and then I'm sure they know you. Uh, it's an intense game back and forth with, with bragging rights on the line. So how would you all describe what it was like going up against PPG and, and Elite House? Uh, going against PPG, <laughs> like, I'm not – I've known the DeBose twins for a pretty long time. And so just going to, cause they beat us last year. So in the DR7 at CE King, so coming to get our rematch against them and, and winning it is really big. And then we went, we split one and one cause we won the first game against the Lee House a long time ago and they won the recent one. And then, so when they beat us, they started dancing and you know, we, we came back the next day, Coach Rob, he said, we can't let that happen again. We got to beat these teams, and then we'll dance when we win. And what do we do? We won, and we dance on them. Yeah. I mean, like what Jaden said, Coach Rob talked to us about it, um, saying that we didn't, uh, we didn't like that feeling. It hurt our gut, kind of. It hurt our gut. Um, so we were just going back like we're a revenge tour. Um, so we just had that in our mind, and we uh, pulled through. Now, are you guys typically trash talkers at all, or uh, does that sort of elevate your game, or you guys just sort of let your game do the talking? I'll start with you, Diego. I mean, for me, I just – I mean, I'll say a few words, but I don't – I think I let my game talk um, for the most part. Cause I, I, sometimes I'm like, shoot, I don't know what to say. So I just, I just play and ball out. I th Jaden, I feel like you, you've got to be doing a little talking. You had oh, about 130 <laughs> tackles this year. you got to be saying something in there. 
I mean, I mean, I don't, I don't talk unless I get talk, spoken to. Okay. And from there, uh, I really can't be stopped, especially in pads. And seven on seven, I can control myself because I'm not like hitting people every play. But in pads, I can't control myself. I go crazy. <laughs> but yeah, just I just talk a little when I get spoken to. So that's really it. A big first win to start the seven on seven season for you all. What's maybe your expectations and, and personal goals for the rest of the year in playing seven on seven? Just to continue it. Um, we want to carry this on to the next week, next weekends that we play. Um, and I mean, just keep going, keep rolling with it. Yeah, like what Diego said, this is uh, that was our first tournament, we won it, and we have some real big tournaments coming up. We have a battle tournament, we have an OT7 tournament, and then we have that one uh, championship thing in Florida. So just having all that is like it's on the you're only going to be playing bigger, better, and stronger teams. And just winning this one can give our team momentum that we can do this and we can we can spring board into the next tournaments. Well, guys, congratulations. We enjoyed watching you all play this weekend, and uh, best of luck the rest of the year and, more importantly, into high school football season as well.